In the ePortfolio template, within the Assessor ePortfolio section, there are four different sections. These four sections should not be changed or modified in terms of their names. The first section is called Provisional Results Sheet. In this section, there is a single page in which a printout of the Provisional Results Sheet should be inserted. The next section is called Module Documentation. In here, there are two pages. One for inclusion of the component specification for the module and underneath that, a page called Program Module, where a printout of this, or the module descriptor, can be inserted. The third section is called Procedures for Assessment. In this section, the assessor would provide details about procedures that were applied to ensure fair and consistent assessment. So for example, in the first page, simply called assessment procedures. There are three different procedures listed. We have compassionate considerations, reasonable accommodations, and assessment malpractice. Underneath this page is another page called integrated assessment. This is where the assessor is able to document if there are any examples of assessments that have been integrated with other modules in the module being submitted. The fourth section in the Assessor ePortfolio is called Assessment Material. And this is the one section of the Assessor section where there is flexibility in terms of the pages that are included. In the template, we have included the first page, which is a space for the Assessor's Assessment Schedule. And this should always be included and should always be in the top of this list. However, the pages underneath this will vary depending on the module being submitted. So for example, a particular module may have two assignments and one exam, in which case there is no need for these other sections. They can simply be deleted from the template. If you need more than one assignment section, for example, this can also be copied and pasted. Within each of these sections, we have tried to ensure a consistent structure. For assignment, learner record, collection of work and project, the layout is identical. Within these sections, there are pages for the brief that corresponds to that assessment and the marking scheme. Slightly different are the sections for examination and collection of work. Within these sections, there is one additional page and this page is where an examination register or skills, demonstra skills demonstration register would be included. These would normally be required for in-person exams or skills demos. However, if for some reason registers for attendance were not required for these techniques, these pages can simply be deleted from the section. So that is an overview of the Assessor ePortfolio. So the first three sections, the pages remain static and are simply filled in by the Assessor. Whereas the Assessment Material section has built-in flexibility based on the six different QQI assessment techniques and can be modified by the Assessor to suit the module's needs.